Hi, Jaime. Last time I talked to you, you had a, a nice fat mustache on you. You were filming Chente. Oh, uh, God, you're right. And... You're right. And, and, the, and the just for men going at uh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you're looking great. Since then, we've seen you on uh, game shows. And now next, we're going to see you on Lopez versus Lopez uh, as a very smooth and suave character. Tell us a little bit about your role. Man, I'm so happy. It's uh, it's this injury attorney lawyer uh, who steals Rosie's heart. Uh, we are not quite sure what's up with him uh, the first couple of episodes, but it's gonna he, he's gonna have a, a very very fun arc that I think people will both lo love and hate. <laughs> oh yeah, I you know it's funny because you get that perception very early on because uh, I I know in the first episode we see you and it's like oh yeah it's the guy from the billboards and and I kind of associate that with like oh I don't really like the people on the billboards exactly like exactly there's a, there's, a the there's a reason there's a reason they some of it I mean not all injury lawyers are like shady but you know yeah yeah no but some of the, some of the what I'm saying is some of the advertisers are really cheesy and a little extra but you know whatever you gotta you gotta pay, you gotta make sure you get your face out there a hundred percent um what what is it like for you to join this ever-growing cast? Because it seems like now, especially the second season, they're continuing to grow their family, yeah. and you know it's it's a lot. You know, a, a, it's a it's a universal story, but told through the eyes of, of you know of a group of Latinos. What yeah, hundred percent. Like it's a it's a well-told story, well-produced story. Debbie Wolf is amazing as a as a her 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 team of writers as a producer showrunner. She is just so so good, and it was just lovely to be a part of this extraordinary group of people because George is a sweetheart honestly he's such a sweet man so generous so kind Mayan as well Matt uh Selenis the little kid Bryce I mean I felt like I was part of the show forever uh they really make you feel welcome uh George especially really opened uh his arms and his heart to me and, and and we we played a lot in the scenes we had we had together and, and we really had a lot of fun so you know just just coming to a show that is so that it has a, a, a talented group of actors that that are that are also super kind and generous and welcoming is just the the dream come true right for an actor uh and, and yes like like you were saying the story tells a story about uh, a latino family but hey the family could be from turkey or from vietnam from from china like it's just a well-told story regardless of the demographics and i think that's that's the that's the beauty of the show And with that, like, how easy does that make it on on set? And you know, maybe some improvisations, maybe to to make just make really make well. It easier no, to play you know, I don't know. You're familiar with with sitcoms, but sitcoms. Let's say you you do a scene, right, and the audience laughs and whatever, and then all the writers they, they jump on set and they give you notes whether they change the scene or they change the joke or they change the lines and then you do it again and on the spot you have to adjust and and modify whatever whatever lines you studied for four days now they're no longer work now say this one right uh in this show in particular the it's so well written it's so solid that we did not change the jokes that much it was just debbie wanted to try something else or debbie coming coming up with an amazing joke on the fly and and wanted to 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 test that joke with the audience, right? So that's just the nature of sitcoms. Yeah, that's uh, it's really good to know because you you, you, just, you you never know what some of these things behind the scenes how long they really take. But you guys do it so well because you guys are professionals, right? <laughs> yeah, no, actually, we we pre tape uh, in this particular my sitcom broke. Uh, we didn't pre tape the whole show here for Lopez versus Lopez. They pre tape the whole show, which takes a big weight off your shoulders because you know you have the show in the can. So when you get to play and do certain scenes in front of the live audience, you're just free to to play and have fun. That sounds great. Um, so let me tell you, as an actor, I mean, I've seen you, but like I said, game shows, you you know, Spanish TV, you're part owner of, you know, LAFC and we see you I'm not part owner of LAFC. That's a big lie. That, I've, I've never been a part owner of LAFC. People assume that. They also assume oh, okay. that we paid celebrity to support the team, and that's that's inaccurate and, and incorrect. I'm just a passionate supporter of the team. I have no stakes on that team, and I do not get paid to promote the team. I just uh, pr promote the team passionately because I, 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 I love the team. You know what? That's really good information to know. So, uh, uh, I mean, I just wanted to know how, how do you, how I do wish. you, uh, as a, as a person, you know, balance your, balance yourself. 
No, well, um, you know, it... you are, you know, I'm, I produce as well. I have a lot of IPs. I, I, you know, it's just a. Uh, I think it's the the key is to to give time to each task, right? If you get overwhelmed, like just just yesterday, I had to resolve I don't know like 20, 25 things that I had to resolve, and I and I got a little overwhelmed, and I'm like, you know what? One thing at a time, one thing at a time. Let me just resolve this one, then resolve the next one, then resolve the next one. And if by the end of the day I'm still ha I still have things to resolve, no biggie. I'll I'll pick it up where I left tomorrow and that's fine yeah one thing at a time so, and, and uh you know and you know in that case and what makes you such a passionate lafc fan they invited me seven years ago to a game and i absolutely loved it i went crazy with the energy of the 3252 i went crazy i i just loved it and i'm like this is going to be my team this is my team that i'm going to support in la period and from that point on i have not missed one single home game maybe one, two or three because of the filming or something. I have gone to over 20 away games. When I'm shooting in Vancouver, I, I take helicopters and fly to Seattle to see them play against the Sounders. Like I'm I'm just a passionate, and you know, soccer is the sport of my country and the, and the, the Latin American sport. So of course, supporting soccer, my team in Mexico is Pumas, although I have not been following them as passionately as I've been following the LAFC, but I support Pumas in Mexico. Uh, but living here in Los Angeles, a steady for the past twelve years, I I just uh, I, I just decided that's just it's like asking a Lakers fan why is he a Lakers fan and not a Clippers fan, right? I guess it's just uh, you know. Yeah, you click with certain teams. I, I'm the same exactly. way. I'm from Oakland, but I'm a San Francisco Giants fan. There you go. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, and what is it? What is a? I gotta ask you because we you know we've been following your career, my family, especially you know Thank in the you. early days of like Mexican television. Thank you. Uh, big fans. Thank you. Um, what's one of the biggest differences in working in you know Mexican television and American television besides, of course, like the language, <laughs> the budget, oh, the budget okay. and the language. <laughs> no, there's actually, it's actually obviously more budget in the U.S., which is which is uh, always always good. Uh, but uh, but pretty much actors, we are animals of the same farm, regardless of the language or regardless of the regardless of the region we are working in. Um, I guess, you know, if you are in a movie set in Turkey or Mexico or the U.S. or wherever, Spain, Colombia, I guess we speak the same language um, between us. And, and that's the beauty of, of my profession. Yeah, you, it's interesting because I know that some uh, there's Mexican adaptations of Colombian shows and then those adaptations get, you know, adapted into American shows. And, and we've seen you in some of those. Uh, Jaime, thank you so much for your time. Uh, as always, I'm a big fan of your work. Uh, oh, man, you're so sweet, man. You're thank doing. you very much. Thank you. Send and, my love uh, to my family, please. <laughs>